Greetings, denizens of the digital world. It is I, the Zero Killer, coming to you today on day 113 of the year of vlogging dangerously. And it only occurs to me now that it's a suggestive Sunday, and that's okay. I have things to suggest. I do, I do, I do indeed. I have two things to suggest today. That's it, that's all. Well, they're two big things, really. I got a TV show that's a little frivolous, and a website that's definitely not. The first... The web, the, the show. It's a show that everybody probably knows that watches TV regularly and has a commercial eye. And if not, well, if you're like me and you don't pay attention to your cable or don't have cable and you just do your downloading and randomly grab shows every once in a while, then you probably, you possibly have heard of it but haven't watched it. And this show is Castle. It stars, it's, from my perspective, I started watching for Nathan Fillion. He's the definitive star of the show, or the male lead, and he plays Rick Castle, a novelist who gets attached to uh, Detective Beckett, who's played by I don't even know, uh, and he's attached because of a, a series of events that are, you know, he's a murder mystery guy, and people are staging murders based on his, uh, his novels, and then from there it snowballs into him basically you know, getting coming on to as a consultant and a, a shadow for Detective Beckett to uh, write a character for a new novel that he's writing, a new series he's writing. Um, Nicky Heat would be the character because he wants all the Heat-themed puns. As a writer, I find that fun. Um, as a fan of Nathan Fillion, I love the series. As a fan of quirky uh, and comedic crime shows, I find it quite fun. And uh, because of certain circumstances of boredom over the past little while, I've marathoned two full seasons of this in the last five days, and hell, I love the show. So that's a, that's my non-serious thing for today, suggestive Sunday to recommend. Um, the serious thing, it's on CNN actually today, it's, uh, it's one I, I remember from a while back. It's the site that contains a million secrets, they call it. It's postsecret.com. And this is a website where the whole premise of it is, is that the the guy, um, Frank Warren, introduced, he invites people to go to this website. At, by first it was, at first it was by mail, and he would put them up. I believe there's a, an emailing system, or there's a web system now for it, uh, where you would give a secret. You don't have to give anything else, just one secret. Um, some of the examples they have here are... I like to watch Dr. Phil drunk. Or, uh, to the class of 1977, I still hate you all. You know, things like this. It's completely, completely um, open what you want to give us a secret. And it was it was male originally. I find it funny, though, the, the one here that, that probably amuses me the most is I give decaf to customers who are rude to me, written and mailed on a Starbucks cup. That one's awesome. But it's it's these types of things that uh, that are there that um, it, it it's very cathartic reading these things. It's very profound as you read through these. And it, it reveals so much about a person that you don't know. And it's an insight. It's a little insight into the life of a person you don't know. And um, it's also got a ridiculously amazing community to it. Uh, there was somebody who posted the, one of the secrets that got put up on the site, the guy it received, and he put up on the site was a confession that somebody wanted to jump off the Golden Gate Bridge. And boom! Huge response from the forums. People, people posting the uh, what became the largest comprehensive um, database of suicide prevention hotlines. There was a huge Facebook group made. All these things to try and provide resources to a person they didn't even know, and they had no idea of knowing what this person was, which is why it became the largest comprehensive database of suicide prevention hotlines. It was an amazingly great human response to someone putting out something that they have never told anyone and then that dark confession in their mind that 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 part of their mind that just it um yeah it was it, it it's just an amazing response and uh yeah that's that's postsecret.com if you want to just have a moment of pure just perspective as to the that the, some of these things are, are things that are so mundane but some of them are just truths that everybody kind of thinks from time to time um 
here's probably the most staggering one of them all. Everyone who knew me before 9-11 thinks that I'm dead. Holy shit. The implications of that, like these, the, the, the implications of these secrets, that the, these these things that now they keep the mind spinning and they get you wondering, and it's it's macabre, but sometimes funny, sometimes inspiring, just amazing, and I love it. Postsecrets.com, check it out. I've rambled for five and a half minutes about two things on Suggestive Sunday, and I'm dead tired, so I'm going to go pass the fuck out. So. You all have a good one. I will talk to you tomorrow. As usual, I have been the serial killer. Questions, comments, concerns, death threats? Put them in the comments section below.